In 2022, I revolutionized the entire world when I released Gridfinity, the free modular 3D printable organizational system. With versatile storage bins, specially shaped tool holders, and base plates that you could mount to anything, Gridfinity has turned countless piles of clutter into crispy clean workstations as satisfying as they are productive. Well, ladies, gentlemen, and cyborgs, today I'm revolutionizing the revolution by revealing the revolutionary Gridfinity 2.0. Welcome to the future. Welcome to Void Star Lab. When I designed the original Gridfinity, all I wanted to do was to keep my friend, who totally isn't me, from spilling my nuts and bolts all over my workshop. You wouldn't know him, he goes to a different school in Canada. That was not even a year ago, but since then, thousands of makers have designed thousands of custom storage blocks and mounting plates to contain everything from drill bits to deburring tools to dank ass doobage. With over 4,000 free compatible accessories, Gridfinity immediately became, and still remains, the number one most search term on things.com. In fact, things added an entire Gridfinity category, I forgot to grab my props, made us a golden plaque, and gave me custom socks for Christmas. But as more and more people got into Gridfinity, the cracks began to show. I made mistakes, I missed opportunities, human progress never pauses in its relentless march to a brighter tomorrow, and Gridfinity must advance in kind. With the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival fast approaching, which I'm going to, nudge nudge wink wink, things.com agreed to sponsor or nothing less than the future itself, Gridfinity 2.0. So I bought myself a drawing board, went back to it, and reimagined Gridfinity from the print bed up, fixing its flaws, broadening its options, and most importantly, making it easier than ever for you to get involved. But first, let me tell you a little about Things.com. Things is the place to find and share printable 3D models with a blistering fast interactive preview in your browser and augmenting your reality. And now, you can download the treasures you unearth as STLs, OBJs, or even step files. They have an app now too, and it lets you search a print-ready project just by taking a picture of it with your phone. Ooh, uh, and Micro Center's Inland brand provided the filament. A lot of filament, just a truly f***ing insane amount of filament. But without further ado, I invite you to get the first look at Gridfinity 2.0, now featuring 50% more edges. That's right, people, no more quadrilateral bullshit. The future is made of hexagons. Not only are six sides more than four sides, and thus better, Hexagons are the bestagons, but I am big into more than just the number of vertices. One of the most common questions I get is, why is the Gridfinity Grid 42 millimeters? I picked 42 because it divides evenly into many other numbers, which makes it more likely your stuff will nest into your storage, and more likely your storage will nest into your drawers. It's also a bit of a literary reference. But since then, I have learned that pragmatism and humor is irrelevant to you people. Your self-diagnosed OCD wants every number on the planet to end in a five or a zero. That's why Gridfinity 2.0 is now 50 millimeters wide and 15 millimeters tall, and you can thank me in the comment section. I'm also gonna spank your whiny bitch, I mean, thank you for your friendly bits of constructive criticism. Gridfinity, I'm told, takes too long to print. Even a basic one by one by six bin could take an hour and a half. Well, that's why I turned the cubes into tiles. You can now run these puppies off in just 20 minutes, at least on a printer that's made a single improvement in the last five years instead of getting distracted by resin tool changers, undersized printers, oversized printers, and acquiring companies no one knows about nor cares about. Listen, I know that joke doesn't work anymore, but I never thought they would actually release the Mark IV, let alone do it two days before I shot this. I don't actually know if the Mark IV can do a 20-minute Gridfinity, but if Joseph, Joseph Prusa Prusa of Prusa Research happens to be watching and feels like sending me a Prusa Research Prusa i3 Mark IV and some Prusa Research Prusa Mint, I can certainly find out. Wait, they're not going to do that. I'm promoting a competitor to their service printables by Prusa Research, formerly PrusaPrinters.org. Org. Oh, shit. he's gonna put sugar-free gummy bears in my kit. This rant really got away from me. But the changes go deeper, and I'm being literally. The Gridfinity's frame was too flimsy. The weighted plate was too clunky. So I took the GF Deuce's base plate system and reimagined it as a modular board. You can screw them, you can glue them, you can add legs. That's new. Uh, it lets you hold your tiles at the perfect angle for things to roll down. I realized that 50% more edges means 50% more possible orientations and thus 50% more ways you can f*** it up and embarrass yourself. Everyone will see you for the idiot you really are and laugh at you and you'll cringe about it while you're trying to fall asleep until the day you die. That's why I added this indexing notch. Another sticking point, the magnets. 
That was a pun. Folks noted that my decision to put floating holes in midair was causing saggy prints. But then again, the same folks also regularly ask me whether they should orient the magnets north pole up or south pole up, so I'm a little mixed on how seriously to take you people. I decided to punt, as in I took the magnets and f***ing punted them into the sun. This baby is held together by nothing but gravity, or as I like to call it, nature's magnet. Here's another nitpick from the particularly non-grass touching among us. Gridfinity isn't open source. That is actually true. I picked a non-commercial license which prevents it from being truly free and open because you're not free to open an Etsy shop to scalp crappy ripoffs of my hard work that make me look bad. Well, you f***ing nerds beat me down. Gridfinity 2.0 and 1.0 are now released under the MIT license which basically lets you do whatever your slimy pickled little heart thinks will make the quickest buck. Godspeed, you fly-by-night eBay sweatshops and your shitty partially tuned Ender 3s. This also means I don't make any money if you buy Gridfinity, so like, subscribe on Patreon. But the final improvement in Gridfinity 2 is the boldest, nay, the most monumental paradigm shift, one that fundamentally realigns the entire initiative with the ever-changing tastes of the modern world. Gridfinity 1.0 let anyone organize anything anywhere, but that's it. Once you straighten up all your stuff, what do you do next? Where is the addictive completionist Skinner box? Where are the social mechanics? Where is the replay value? Gridfinity 1.0 is held back by its tired, outdated, solo-only creative mode. That's why Gridfinity 2.0 is exclusively competitive multiplayer. Here's how it works. You print up a board and enough tiles to fill it and then procure three steel ball bearings. You gather one or more buddies and or pals who bring tiles and balls of their own. Each person picks three for a starting hand and then all the players take all the tiles and shuffle them all up into one big tile pile. You and your crew then take turns playing a tile and rolling a ball. You get to choose which to do first, but you gotta do both every turn whether you want to or not. Most tiles just have little channels to guide the ball from one slot to another, but some have special rules that you can look up with things image recognition, and others even have tiny mechanisms to bamboozle your foes. If your ball hits an empty space, no biggie, just take it back. If it gets stuck, well that's life, see if you can knock it loose next turn. Just don't fall off the side of the board, because that means your ball and the last tile it touched are destroyed. Lose three balls and you're out of here! But if you manage to dodge your opponent's traps, forge a path to the bottom and escape the board, then that's it. You win the game. The best part is that since you made your own tiles, the victor- oh, oh, oh. What do you mean win? Like win as in beat the other guys, emerge triumphant, come see, conquer, come again. <laughs> nice. I mean, how does this organize your stuff? This is an organizer. Oh, you're thinking of Gridfinity 1.0. Gridfinity 2.0 is a board game. They have nothing to do with each other. Then why are you calling it Gridfinity? Well, I'm, I'm cashing in on the brand recognition. It's, it's called marketing. It's not even a grid anymore. It's hexagons. You think people are going to get confused? Yes. What about Gridfinity the game? Ah, you just threw a throw pillow at me? That was unexpectedly appropriate. Hey, knock it off. Naming things is hard. Use your words! Exactly. If you come up with a new name, you could have the two most popular searches on things. Maybe they'll send you two pairs of socks? Oh. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Void Star Lab presents a new kind of tabletop game. One where you design, share, and collect your own pieces. Printable files are yours right now for free at the links in the description of this very video. So build your collection, get your bearings, and prepare for an open source 3D printable experience that makes Calvin Ball look like Pickleball. Void Star Lab presents Freeballing. It's a great name, what do you do? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for Christ's sake, oh, fuck. how many pillows are in this house? Don't you do it. Don't you, oh fine, geez, I'll change it. Print up the ultimate test of creativity and cunning for makers, modders, and all manner of masterminds. This is Hextraction. Download the limited edition beta set at the links below, battle your friends, and change the game by designing your own custom tiles. Get started now for free.
Well, this is awkward. I still had like a whole bunch of stuff to say. First, this video is a joke. I promise to never ever change the Gridfinity standard. I want everything to remain compatible with everything else forever. Second, Hextraction is still in development. Rules may change, tiles may change. The board is probably definitely gonna change. Third, this video is only a teaser. Do you feel teased? Cause that's what I was going for. I'm preparing a full length non April Fool's Hextraction video with comprehensive rules, a bigger starter set and useful tips for designing tiles of your very own. That is gonna drop in like a week or two. So if you want that sh hit subscribe cause YouTube has actually been showing my videos to my subscribers. But wait, there's more. If you're going to the first ever Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival on April 22nd, 2023, I think it's free, don't quote me on that. I hereby invite you to the Inland Filament booth to play around of Hextraction, trade tiles, and maybe even throw down against yours truly. Perhaps we'll get a tournament after party together. Mm. Of course, thanks to Things for sponsoring this project so we can do it right and for providing the perfect place to find and share anything with three or more dimensions. But the biggest thanks go to Voidstar Lab's generous patrons. After all, it's these gender agnostic dudes like lab scientist Henry Bitt, The Pink, and The crush matic by Blamo that let me design stuff specifically to give away for free. And they let me make my existing free stuff even more free. That's why they call me Freedman. The masters of my dungeon are our collaborators. Microwave, What the Chuck, The Benevolent Misanthrope, Turner Zay, Schleppy the Schwagster, SXP, Keep to Yourself, Bit Rot, The Suits Ruined Our Fun, Caster the Catboy, Command, Illusion, The Rounder of Nuts, The Final Disassembler, and E to the I Pie. I've made their names permanent parts of my workshop and hidden them somewhere in this episode. On top of this, every active collaborator between now and when I release the final version of Hextraction will end up in the game itself, making them physical Easter eggs that you're gonna roll your balls over. But who can forget our lab assistants? If their tiles are half as creative as their patron names, this game will make Magic the Gathering look like Yu-Gi-Oh. I know what I said, fight me. Thank you, Lydia K. Visit Omaha 3D Prints for all your 3D printed RPG product needs. Cranville Schmidt, The Antifa, Zsh, Nathan Johnson, Sunburnt Cat, Ashley Coleman, Ryan E. Lockwood, Jamie, Danny Devoid of Life, Quantumly Tangled, My Dog is a Bear, Aaron Steers, Bob Dobbington, Stormby Design, Joshua Godovin, Rusty Flute, John Marler, Cliff Henning, Pussy Nugget, Good Lady Nat, Queen of Lemons, Victor of the Great Citrus Wars, Talon Democratic Socialist, a pretty righteous dude, Dash Sack, Nova Wren, Trump did nothing wrong, I guess we're gonna find out soon, Jessica, Mauerhan River, yes that one Hunter, Colin J. Webb thinks I should eat the rich and open source the recipe. <laughs> Scratch Finger, I inspire the Next Layers YouTube channel, so you guys should check it out. Onyx Plague, Iron Rain, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. I did because this is the second take. Xanforian, Kink Shaming Walrus, Samuel Roos, Dax Dastardly Seeks, Seth's Checks, Michael, Eddie, Kermit the OG Frog, Karunamon, Not a Digimon, Socks McGox, Bum Tickly 69, Maxlock says you're too hard on yourself, love yourself, idiot. The Jelly, Burn Duck 3, Topher, Cameron, Ogletree, Steven, Six Foot, Six Figure, Six Pack, Schulte, Oral Netta, Craft Computing, 6A, 6F, 65, 6E, 75, Bob Forbes, Boulder Creek, Eric James, Bill Schooler, One Sleeve, Reagan Says, Hey Neighbor, Sorry My Water Heater Broke, Tootin Common, Vicarious Nergasms, Cameron Swords, Amanishi, Burn It, Adam Birch, Michael Roche, Brad Cox, Bryn Wolf, Schulte, You think they're any relation to the Six Foot? Maybe they have Five Feet, Five Figures, and Five Pack Abs. Maybe it's a Seven Pack. Eval Bunny, The Lizards Are Watching, General Buck Turgidson, Azunda Wielder Vine, Heater of Shrink, Jason, Daniel Wales, Callsign Carrot, The Upstairs Neighbors Water Heater, Travis Hippa, Rinri, Varka, Mike Kelly, K Panic, Cat, Scroto Sagans, Good Sucks, 603, Vertical Lines, McGee, The Cuttlefish, Measure Once, Cut Twice, Reed Glue, Cut Again, Tegan, The Trans Pilot from the PNW, Wants to Give You Big Hugs, RJ, Dipcord, Roger Pinkham of the Great Star Theater, Incognito, Trans Rights, Kevin DeGraff, One Handful of Beans, Doom Crew, Inc., Boots Ivan Poopstein, Quality Doggo, Circle Zero, Cindy Lawman, Rudy Nehemiah, Powerful CCH, Acorn Zopf, Period Clots, A Very Fine Dumpster Fire, Brad Stormer, Ryan Gooler, Brian, Ryan Gooler, Brian Cofford, not Brian Gooler and Ryan Cofford, Thomas P. Myers, Juicy Legend, Drinker of Juicy Legendary Fruits, Big Bob's Gaming, Dempsters, Jason Terry and Dennis Kempen, Elite Giant, Micah Friedman, Wack Friedman, and Gordon Friedman. Wake up, Mr. Friedman. Wake up and print my board game. Thanks for watching, and I hope to d d d duel you in the future.